received a welcome mail from Oracle Cloud and want to get started with Oracle Container Cloud service, but not sure how? First, make a note of the username and temporary password that you received in the welcome email from Oracle Cloud, and then go to the My Services URL link. Enter the username and temporary password. Before going any further, you've got to re-enter your temporary password and change it to a new password. You also get to choose some questions and answers that'll help to identify you if you forget your password later on. Now you see the My Services dashboard. Here are all the services you have access to. Go to the Container Cloud Service. This page contains all the subscription information and is where you open the Container Cloud Services Service Console. The first time you go to the Service Console, you see the Welcome page with links to handy resources for new users. Let's go straight to the Service Console. The Service Console shows the number of service instances and the resources they're using. Go ahead and create your first service instance. Enter a new name and description for the new instance, as well as an SSH public key, or use a previously created key stored in a file. Then specify an admin username and password. Remember these because you'll need them in a moment. A compute shape, which determines the number of CPUs and amount of memory assigned to each worker node in the service instance, the number of worker nodes, and the size of the data volume on each worker node. Review your selections and create the service instance. It takes a few minutes for the service instance to be created, so now's a good time to grab a coffee. Once the service instance has been created, you can access the container console. Container Cloud Service uses a self-signed SSL certificate that causes some browsers to display a connection warning message the first time you go to the Container Console. Accept the warning and confirm the security exception. Log in to Container Console using the admin username and password that you specified when you created the service instance. Now you can use the Container Console to compose, deploy, orchestrate, and manage Docker container-based applications. To learn more, visit us online at cloud.oracle.com/container. And thanks for watching.